Nice oh. little last minute find, though, that's for sure. Mm hmm. Happy to uh, show them off, and we will. Greetings, friends. Steven here. Welcome to the Chemex Toycast Live. This is episode 18. Our recording date is October the 6th, 2017. It's Friday night. I'm back again with Essex. Good day, everybody. How's it going? There you go. And I forgot that I had the thing open, so I heard myself talking. Wait, yeah, no, that's two of me. Can you hear that when that happens? Uh, not close enough to me, so I can't hear it. Okay. Oh, Anyways, so yeah, this is the uh, the live stream show where we uh, show off a bunch of toys and stuff that we that we recently picked up. Uh, talk about uh, recent struggles, the things we couldn't pick up. And we talk about some news, some announcements, some recent purchases, so on and so forth. It's a fun time, I think. Do you think, Indeed. Essex? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Uh, well, it's a fun time when we're rocking and rolling. It's a, it's a not a good time when we've got nothing going on. So, yeah, luckily, that's true. Luckily, the distribution gods have been generous lately, and we've been okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we got some uh, some late uh, additions to my uh, collective here that I'm happy to show off momentarily. Nice. Got some uh, recent uh, used robots I got from an online ad. We'll definitely show those off as well. Uh, Essex, if the folks want to find you on social media, where can they go? Oh, it's pretty much everywhere at Essex Alpha, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. I'm all there. Very good, very good. Of course, I am Stephen. Everyone, thanks for uh, uh, being here live or watching it once it's uploaded to our YouTube channel here, Cat Max Gaming. Uh, in the chat, we have Rogue two one one two one, arguably our number one fan. Thank you for joining us tonight, Rogue. She weaves. And uh, if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at Stephen Eider. Stephen with a V E I D H E R. If you want to see me uh, stream video games live, check me out at Cat Max underscore Gaming, all one word, over at Twitch. And if you like robots, uh, I've got a pickup right here that I'll be going into very shortly. Nice. Uh, it's a whole lot of robots and a whole lot of uh, smashing them up against each other with swords and lasers and all that. We'll, we'll get into that. Uh, I need, I need, I made a coffee. I need it now because it's been a hell of a, hell of a long week, and it was very hot all week. But now it's raining, and I'm feeling, ugh. <laughs> so. Uh, Essex, That's... please uh, start us off with some pickups. Oh, geez, yeah. Um, well, honestly, there's not been a lot locally that I've picked up toy-wise, anyway. Um, besides, what do we got? A couple weeks back, picked up a couple, maybe one. I don't know. It's all mm -hmm. blur now. Anyways, yeah, Titan Returns Octane. Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh... Let me present you. By the way, I'm once again using my. Uh, it was a gift. This is my uh, <laughs> Rainbow Dash mug. Very nice. Which is apropos. It is a Hasbro property. Okay, yeah. there you go. There we go. So yeah, um, Titans Return Octane. Um, as anyone who's watched the show for any amount of time, we know Steven's problems with this mold, and I can say that mine suffers from none of the leg wiggling or waist um, wiggling. It's wiggling too much, Ariel. <laughs> oh no, she's she's good. Um, good little figure. Uh, I definitely like this a lot more than any of the prime molds I've seen. Even though I haven't touched any of the prime molds in hand, although I should be getting one hopefully soon from uh, Co. Um, oh, I'm gonna try to say here. Yeah. Um, Co. Participate participant in the toy cast with uh, Joe Star supposed to be seventy one. Oh nice. Yes. Very good. Purchasing one of those off him as long as well as uh, Titans Return Nautica and mm. Fast Clash. So that's good. So you're you're still making uh making progress on that front. Indeed, getting the ones we can't get up here. So ugh ugh. Yeah. What ugh. else have I found recently? Okay, now hold on, hold on. Okay. So for Octone, uh, one of the issues with the version, uh, the Optimus Prime version, is that uh, when you've got him in uh, tanker truck mode, you know the wings can like press against each other. Yep. Uh, with that specific mold, there's like two tabs that like hit each other. One should be a slot, one should be a tab. But for some reason, they just made a mistake and they're both tabs. <laughs> Does that yeah. have that problem? You do not have that problem with Octone. Okay, thank God. No. Yeah, uh, he's, yeah. He's a little finicky to get together in tanker truck mode. Uh, just the front end, you've got to kind of push it together just right. It is like there's so many twists and turns with that mold. It's just. Like, oh, I don't mind the twists and turns. It's the shocking. tolerances are just just off. Just really? Off. Really? But you can get them to hold together fairly well. well um, that's good. The big thing I like about him is, of course, 
Decepticon color palette. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, like, the there's so many Optimi already. Is fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Really good G1 style pistol. Uh, head sculpt is super good. The new wings are phenomenal. Yeah. Does it look good? Really sharp. The gun almost reminds me of Astro Train, too. Yeah. And uh, makes up for that uh, old classics Octane or Tankor that was released uh, yeah. a good many years back that was just awful. Just was it, was awful it Tankor? Toy. There was a Tankor toy. I had that well, toy. Yeah, it was called Tankor back then because they didn't have the rights to Octane just like they don't now because they have Octone. Yeah. But uh, yeah, not 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 a not a good toy. Very bad toy. Hmm. <laughs> but you like this one. This one's really it's, solid, yeah. yeah I, like... I am gonna have a hard time getting them on my Decepticon shelf. Oh. Real full up there. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I hear that. Um besides that, like I was saying locally, I got Amiibo. Pikmin Amiibo. Oh, God. oh boy. I love me some Pikmin, even though I hear that new game is not that good. So I'm going to skip hmm. it until it gets cheap. But yeah. I do love me some Pikmin, so Pikmin That's won. good. Was it on sale or anything, or is it just... Just normal price. Just... Yeah. Okay. There was only a couple left. I'm like, yeah, I better get him before he's gone forever. Mm, yeah. Because such is the way of Amiibo. Yeah, true that. Just and... today, the uh, Koopa Troopa and Goomba Amiibo are out now. Oh, Okay, that was the reason I saw them for the first time ever. I saw them on EV today. I was like, huh, yeah. I don't remember seeing those in person before. And no. then I was done. Yeah, <laughs> it's their day one. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't buy them, but I was certainly tempted to. I, uh, nah, I don't want to save for the struggle. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I went to EB Games. I had my like morning coffee. I always go there on my morning break. It's across the road from where I work. And uh, they had them, and I was like, well, I don't want to juggle this, and then coffee, and then, you know, don't want to spill anything. And they had the stickers on them, and not on the plastic, but on, the, like, the cardboard. Oh. So the collector OCD me is like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> don't think I like that. So I'm like, maybe I'll pick them up later, maybe, I'll whatever. So then I'm at lunch, lunch hour, I go to Walmart. Walmart has them, and no stickers. But they're behind the the glass in their electronics de department. Oh. And it's just one of those days when none of the uh, reps are easily found. I'm like, whatever. Now, nah. next time it's good. I found some other things. We'll get into that. Nice. And then I went back. Uh, afternoon break, same sort of situation. I went to DB Games. And they were busy. And uh, so they got still the stickers on them. And then I went to Toys R Us. And they don't stock because, lol, who cares? Actually, Toys R Us is the best stock place for Amiibo in the ta in the whole city. Nice. Yeah. Um, our um, EB Games carries a scant collection. Um, our Walmart is a desert town. I think they might have two <laughs> of the, um, what is it, uh, the Animal Crossing three-pack left in stock. Oh, and then cool. they have some copies of Chibi Robo with the Amiibo that's 10 bucks, which I picked up last week. Mm -hmm. Not... Not a great game, but yeah, like you said, yeah. ten bucks. Got ten amiibo. bucks yeah. for that the amiibo and the game. You know what? I'm okay with it. It's a fun little game. I got a really good deal. I think it was either twenty or thirty bucks for the 3ds uh, Yoshi Woolly World port that comes with the Poochie. Oh, nice! So he's he's off in the distance. He might right over here. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, that blur over there. That yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Puji Mebo looks pretty adorable, but it's yeah. sealed. I haven't. Busy man. I got Monster Hunter stories to play. I got the Gundam to play. <sighs> One of these days. Maybe. I, I'm going to do this now because mm -hmm. I found it in town and fine. Hell yeah. Have the Switch to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know you were in the market for one. Uh, I have been in the market for one for a while, and I decided to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. And grabbed it with Splatoon and also bought the best game ever made on it. Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. And it's kind of shocking how much prettier it is. I was not expecting that. How is it better? Is it just the screen or does the game actually feel like they've updated to... Um, the game is the something same. to the graphics. It's the graphics. It's the draw distance is a big one. Like You can see a hmm. lot farther than you could. Yeah, really clean. Like in that opening scene where Link walks out onto the cliff and you get the scope of everything, mm -hmm. uh, you can see the um, divine beast on Death Mountain mm -hmm. walking. 
You can yep. see him. That's pretty like, cool. Okay, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, no. yeah. I'm in no rush, but you know, someday. Lots Maybe. of fun. Maybe. I've got Splatoon, Sonic Mania, nice. Cave Story, and Zelda Breath of the Wild for it already. Mm-hmm. Because it came with Splatoon. I've got the special edition. Yeah, Thus, nice. the very brightly colored handles. Yeah. Yeah. Fair to assume you've got Mario Odyssey in pre-order? Pre-order from Amazon with my new Prime. Nice. nice, nice. Yes. I haven't done the um, Prime yet. I don't buy it from them enough, but yeah, it's tempting. Yeah. No, I, I have been pretty impressed. Um, uh, well, one, that's where the struggle kind of ends, because all of a sudden, Amazon has all the figures in stock for a retail price. Mm-hmm. What a concept. Mm-hmm. This week they do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's good timing. I was going to tell you that Blitzwing was back in, but I saw you found it already anyways. Oh, yes, it did. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that'll be in coming weeks. But, yeah, I've been striking rich on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Um, but with that... <laughs> striking poor, you mean. <sighs> yeah. I missed uh, the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> All my jokes are running here. Uh, I finally picked up the last one of the vinyl pops I'm going to get, hopefully, of anything. Mm. <laughs> but uh, the Dark Crystal figures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kira. And little fizz gig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am happy with them. Nice. Fizz gig is better than Kira, but they're great. I'm happy. It completes the collection. The only one I'm missing is the Chamberlain, and I don't think I'm going to pick him up. <laughs> the fungal eyes just don't work on that. Uh, it's just. It's not right. The yeah, it's not right. They certainly turn off a lot of the time. Yeah, it all depends because, on the figure. Well, the thing is, they did the Mystic's head proportionally right, and then just gave him the Funko eyes, and then the yeah. Chamberlain they did with that big square Funko head, and it just it ruins the aesthetic. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. They don't yeah. know what they're doing. Else, sometimes yes, sometimes no. They just have money and licenses. Uh, they're making money hand over fist. That's what? for damn sure. What? I see got a, There's a Monster Hunter uh, Funko on the way. Oh, yeah. A sign that says, like, oh, no. <laughs> it's for the uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom character. Oh, jeez. I saw one the other day. Or I saw some announcement. I can't even remember what it is now. But I'm like, oh, damn. I might buy more. And no, must mm-hmm. not buy any more. No more Funkos. Yeah. I like the Mystery Minis, but they disappear quick. I'll throw them in a bin or in a... Uh, background or something, and then they just mm. kind of vanish. I saw Dr. Seuss ones today, so I was like, oh, that's, that's an interesting choice. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, I saw Dr. Seuss blind boxes today, too. There you go. I guess. We were both at EB Games, so it makes mm-hmm. sense, right? All yeah, right. I think I'm probably um, there every day, actually. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. So, the last thing is I got to play catch up with you mm-hmm. and got my um, Siege on Cybertron set from Amazon. Heck yeah. Um, the only thing disappointing is anyone who follows me on Twitter knows is um, it <laughs> wasn't packed in a mailer box. Yeah. <laughs> so it had about three, four large to medium sized holes because they just kind of put a shipping label. And yeah, the door it went. was the box. <laughs> it was the box. <laughs> the box was the shipping box. Yeah. That would that would irk me real much. Yeah. So very not happy of <laughs> words. I was, if it had damaged the figures, I would have been upset. Oh, yeah. There was some light scratches on Optimus. That was about it. So, light scratches. Really? On what yeah. part? Uh, on his hood, because that's close to where the puncture was. Oh, it had a hole in it? No, yeah, it had a, well, it had a hole in the box, but yes. I guess something got through and, yeah, it just mm. gave a little scrape on the chest. I don't like that at all. Yeah, here, you got it. Yeah, I won't be able to show it. But, uh, just in here, you got a couple scrapes. You won't be able to see it. It's yeah. not resolution. That's but yeah, he's got a couple little dirt dirt on his window there. I got mine right at the right at the ready too. Nice. So, what one do you like better, this or the uh, the Power Master Prime? Oh, this one's way better. The colors <laughs> much more colors? exciting. The yeah, arms, of hands? course. He Those legs, though. Hands? Is it possible to like? Uh, unscrew a thing or two and like put the uh, Power Master legs on this mold? Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if you could, but I'm pretty happy with them because they're super articulate. You can get a lot more poses out of them. They just look kind of wonky. 
Yeah, they're weird. I love how the love of the heel spur like goes up instead of so it's literally doing nothing. Oh, you can get it into some decent. I can get it to stand pretty good. Oh yeah, it stands. Yeah, but yeah, I like the guns better. I like the hands a lot better. Um, yeah. the legs on mine kind of like to not hold together at all. Oh no, I don't know about yeah, those, those those panels they don't really. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, cool They're gimmick though. On a wish and a prayer. It's not unlike the mind wipe gimmick with the wings. Yeah, but yeah. a much nicer figure, uh, especially the little Optimus Prime Jinrai Headmaster. Mm -hmm. Really good, good head sculpt. See, Power Master Prime was the figure, or was my Optimus Prime? I didn't have the original G One. I had Power mm -hmm. Master. So yeah, this one is fantastic, and I will be getting the uh, God Jinrai here eventually. Or God Bomber to make God Shinrai. Yeah. Sucks yeah. that they say we're not getting those uh those collections now. Yeah, the five packs. Well, they're there's trickling them out pretty steadily for um what was supposed to be in the box sets. Yeah, like they just put like grotesque and uh whichever else in one of those, that'd be great. God bomber grotesque uh RC. Yep. All of those yeah. in another box set, like that'd be the best one yet. Ooh, oh God, yeah, especially with box. the other, um, well, Wingspan and what, Cloud Raker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of those would have been one of those box sets. Yeah. And then we would have got a Voyager of some kind. The Voyagers haven't been even teased a little bit yet, but. Yeah. Oh, and I suppose the leaders either. Well, I bet you one of them would have been God Bomber. Yeah. It's the yeah. question of what the other one would have been. What's, what size is God Bomber? Is he more. He's a leader. Oh, he's Easy. big. Yeah. He is big. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Uh, but yeah, so little pounce, excellent yep. little figure. Look forward to having the entire collection of clones. Yeah. So uh, you got the box. first box set as well, then? No, uh, those are. I'm buying the uh, odds and ends off Joe that doesn't want them. Yeah, that's right. He bought it for Quick Switch and the uh, Rodimus Prime Headmaster. Mm. He doesn't want the rest, so I'm buying them off him. Fair enough. Fair enough. What do you think of the diecast headmaster? Is that like it's weird, right? Like them, he doesn't. Uh, why? Like it, it's neat that he's diecast, but he really doesn't need it. He's super, super top heavy now. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, he's just no, not gonna stand I like anymore. Them as just by themselves, they're cool little figures. Yeah. Um, I put uh, Thunderwing here into Metal Hawk's body. And it strips mm -hmm. some of the plastic because the head is also really thick and a really dense plastic. So it kind of strips some of the plastic from Metal Hawk's uh, the gold paint rest, resting spot. And yeah, I won't be doing mm -hmm. that again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, learned, oh, I guess. No. Yeah, I pulled him out. I'm like, oh, that's not good. That's mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because it's kind of the whole gimmick of this line. And then... Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of self destructs. Um, but a hell of a head sculpt. Yeah. That's hell cool. of a head sculpt. Mm. Like him a lot. Mm -hmm. It's too bad, like, all the die cast Titan Masters besides um, Rodimus have the exact same body, but whatever. I saw a tweet <laughs> just before we started that uh, the Grotusk Headmaster is another Battle Beast. Yeah, that's so cool. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I love so it. We'll get to that news, but yeah, so mm -hmm. awesome. Um, Tidal Wave, of course. Yeah. Good figure. Um, like him a lot. Actually, like him a lot better than I like the uh, broadside version of him. Yeah, the good colors. I, yeah. A lot of people don't seem to like him so much online, and I really can't figure out why. I think he looks pretty good. Because he's not the American toy colors. He's the Japanese toy colors. Mm -hmm. So if you had Tidal Wave as a kid and you want a new one now, you want the one you grew up with, and these aren't those colors. But these colors are classic Decepticon colors, so I'm happy. He looks great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I Can wish be... he was three times as big? Maybe. Yeah. But he's still pretty great. That'd be good. <laughs> of course, he's still have that jet mode. To... <sighs> but, uh... mm -hmm. hmm? The what? We still have that jet mode. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Yeah. You know what? It's <laughs> The jet mode kind of works um, in a funny way because the original Tidal Wave came with a little jet... Um, hmm. Recon yeah, that, or whatever. that barely looked like a jet and 
it almost matches. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been the plan all along. Oh, well, we know. Exactly. Hmm. Good point. Good point. Like, and then, of course, the star of the set, in my opinion, is the deluxe metal hawk. Mm-hmm. Oh, such a good figure. I mean, he's already going to be a good figure because that trigger happy mold is perfect. Um, but yeah, the colors and the amount of paint on Metal Hawk is fantastic. The face sculpt is on point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Best figure out of the set hmm. by far, in hmm. my opinion. For sure. He's not the right kind of jet no. compared to what he should be, but yeah, like you said, I mean, it's the repaint box set. We need yeah. it's going in there. The bot I wanted... mode, though. Hmm? That bot mode, though. I, I don't know if I've put mine in bot mode yet, honestly. Oh, because I like the I like the jets because they remind me of a uh, schmups like Gradius or R type or Darius. Fair. I, I think it was the uh, Super Junior that made me want to want to set the most. But you, as you recall, I had it for maybe a few weeks, and I was like, "Do I really want to spend 150 <laughs> bucks?" And I had my hungry days. Yep. Because I make the hobo wages. But, you know, we're back in the game now, more or less. I'm, I'm kind of scared to spend money now, and that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Help me fear. <laughs> Having um, a little bit of a nest egg is a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Well, more than nothing is good. Yeah. But uh, there's there's money to spend. I haven't ordered anything online. We'll get into the struggle uh, shortly. Oh. But um, Oh, I have ordered things online. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my, my coming halls will be pretty cool. <laughs> good stuff good stuff i'm taking ready. care of a few of the figures that i've been w- waiting for for a while i'm like nope it's time no nope, mm-hmm. nope it's time nope nope it's time i'm worried oh. the um tfc toys piranicon or Seacons. Oh, nice. um the first one the uh, the one looks like a coelacanth mm-hmm. i'm not seeing him around so much anymore and i wanted that one but i'm eh, i want him i better make a move I still want that thousand kills though, the uh, squid guy. He like, is fantastic. Yeah, Good great, looking figure. Great colors. Very uh, very much reminds me of Beast Wars. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I've got um, what do I have coming? I have Brainstorm coming finally. Mm, that's good. Uh, pulled the trigger on that one. Uh, I've got Legends Cup, Hot Rod, and Sharkticon coming. <laughs> mm-hmm. And got of course figures coming from Joe, and then of course I just ordered uh, Titans Return, Blitzwing, and Megatron. Mm-hmm. Nice, Megatron! Finally, finally, yeah. retail price Megatron. Are you getting the Japanese one? No, no, no. Really? I, the only thing I want out of the that Japanese Titans Return Megatron is the um, Noble, Noble Savage. Savage. Yeah. Savage Noble. Yeah. Ugh, that's so cool. I wish yeah. I could just have that, but it's a good pull. Never thought we'd see anything Beast Machines. Nope. But I, I just I do not care enough about that paint scheme. I there really? is you have that figure <laughs> you found I know, it recently. But the repaint, it's just not ah, oh, it's not right. He's got um, big black triangles on his chest in random spots. <laughs> uh there's someone on Twitter, I think it's Mock Tackle. Um, he does a bunch mm-hmm. of digi bashes. And mm-hmm. he did one a few months before they announced uh, this, the Legends Megatron, and it was on point. I would have bought his in a heartbeat. But the official like, release, not as good. I like the Digibash of uh, original Beast Wars Alligator Megatron. Oh, yeah. That's a classic. <laughs> and it'd be so easy for them to do, too. It's just like mostly one splash of green and maybe a purple face. That's more or less it. Yeah, just make it all green. And well, if you're getting what I might be getting. Uh, there's already a head to go with it, so I've got a I've got a sixty dollar credit from HLJ, so I'm figuring out how to use it. Nice. And they could pre- pretty easily just turn the uh, the mind white mold into the uh, Optimus, couldn't they? Have you not seen that? Mm, I'm sure I have, but not oh, as okay. much as the uh, as the uh, Megatron one. No, because that's an official Takara release. That's a special edition. Um... Yeah. Hmm. I have probably seen it. It's hard to tell the digi bashes and Japanese releases apart sometimes. I will link you because actually that's what I'm thinking of using my HLJ credit on. Hmm. Yes. 
LinkedIn group chat. LinkedIn group chat coming. Where are we going? There. Boom. <laughs> Oops. No, I can't do it in the group chat. It's going directly to your messages. Okay. It's like, no, you're not allowed to link. Bad, bad, bad ethics. You bad. No, you should we'll be able to. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, you don't even need to send me a link. I've got internet right in front of me. It's fine. I'm sure it looks cool. Neat. All right. But yeah, that's it for yeah. my pickups. I think that's a pretty, pretty good start. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a whole bunch of like thrift things I got, but I'm not too worried about that today. No, don't worry. That's cool. Yeah, those box sets are fun, though. As soon as you crack it open, you've just started a little collection right there. Yep. It's got all the sizes and special editions and actual paint. I'm very, very, very sad they canceled the last two, but like I said, they're trickling out the other stuff, and hopefully they'll make uh, those um, Comic-Con exclusives and Toys R Us exclusives in the States available up here. You mean I, like the uh, the Black Power Master? Um, Black Power Master, I could take or leave. I'm talking about the RC mm. and the yeah. Uh, Grotesque. Yeah, I don't want to miss out on those. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like how I feel with Nintendo nowadays. If they don't want me to have it, then so be it. There's other things to spend my money on, but I certainly mm. do want them if the option shows. And we'll get to that. Something similar soon enough in news. But anyways, yeah. must be time for my pickup. So I've got... Um, <laughs> Start off, not a toy. This is a video game. It's straight a video game. And everyone get hyped because I'm going to be t talking a lot about Gundam in the future because finally <laughs> there's a reason to get hyped for Gundam again. It's the PS4's exclusive Gundam Versus. Uh, it's an arcade game from Japanese arcades now available for our PS4 and online. Uh, that's pretty darn neat. Uh, as far as I know, like every, every robot, I guess, maybe that's ever been in Gundam shows is here now. Damn. You pit them against each other. And it's arcadey fun. If uh, anyone out there liked games like Virtual On back in the day, or just, you know, what else? Well, it's like a third person camera angle, and you just, a lot of zipping around, shooting lasers, missiles, you know, you know, big nice. robots. And you need to cover, to cover is neat. That's original Gundam, and then Barbados, I believe, which I think is the most recent Gundam from Hot Blooded Orphans. That would make sense. Yeah. But it's fun. I've been uh, trying to catch up. There's a um, there's one mech in here I really like. He's um he's like an extra buff Gundam, and he's got this huge ass shield, and he's got this big ass missile launcher that actually shoots a nuke. Oh jeez. So I've been um watching that series, which is called Stardust Memory, I believe. Uh, super long story short, uh, the good guys have a couple new Gundams that they just made, and they brought to a base, and then bad guys just sneak in and steal one of them. And then, you know, young Ensign, oh, you stop stealing that Gundam, you. And then he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, I'll stop you. And then the little kid gets in the other Gundam. They don't lock the doors to these things. No, You'd of course think not. there'd be security passwords, you know. No, no. There wouldn't be a story if they did that. So bad guy gets in one Gundam, good guy gets in another Gundam, and that's the series. I think they, you know, it's like a rivalry thing. And, yeah, it's neat. Need mech. I need to get good with it. When there's like we'll say a hundred robots to pick from in in a fighting game, like there's a lot of work to be put into yeah. getting good with any of them. I find I just want to try them all. But man, man, big game. I, I'm sure eventually they all start playing a little similar, or at least in groups of similarities. Yeah. If there's over a hundred, yeah. <laughs> but it's been impressively unique to go from one to another. But like you said, like there's always like a melee button, always a shoot button, switch, switch target button, jump button. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool game. I'm glad too because I bought it day one. That's like a seventy nine ninety nine game. It was, it was worth it though. And I've played with some bros online and yeah, fun. Nice. Um, before I get to the new stuff, just because I dug it up out of my archives, here is a Gundam figure I have from many years ago. And this, he's like a weird hovercraft version of uh, one of the Zaku. Oh, okay. So he's got a big ass cannon on his, I guess, his shoulder or whatever. And he's kind of like a hovercraft mode for going over sand or whatnot. And I've got, like, I unlocked this as a striker because you can call in extra help. 
And it's like, hey, it's that thing. I have a toy that thing. I've had that toy for like a decade. It's like, oh, it's cool. <sighs> Thank you. And I'm like almost 40 years old now. That's It's been a while. Oh, yeah. Been a while. Okay. So not too long ago, there was not much at all to pick up in local retail. And it's like, well, let's check the local ads. Tech, 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 tech. Oh, here's a guy who's selling like random thrift bots for like nine of them and i made a deal like i'll pay 25 bucks which is more or less what he was asking for but he actually met me at a place much closer to work so uh, that's convenient because i don't have a car so let's take a look at him uh this guy it's uh, a yeah. re repaint of uh what's that Armada thing cyclonus it is cybertron buzzsaw that's, the, that's right is there a oh yeah there's a thingy cyber yep. key what would that unlock? Did that just shoot the missile out? Shoot yeah. the missile, yeah. Should be yeah. two missiles in there. Yeah, no missiles. No. Yeah, they're basically thrift bots. So those. They're not complete by any means, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Do, what, do, you, do you like that mold? Are you feeling oh, it? Oh, I love that mold. Love it. Really? It's not superposable, but it's no. got a certain chunky aesthetic that is fantastic. Yeah. I like him in helicopter one more because you can use the trigger and make the, the blades spin. Ying, yeah. ying, 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 ying. That was one. <laughs> Sticking with the Cybertron Trilogy theme, here's the uh, little rhino guy. Nice. That you had uh, access to yourself not too long ago at a thrift yep. store. Robot mode, mm, no. pretty rough. <laughs> pretty cute as a little robo rhino, though. It's funny how his tail becomes a finger for his grotesque claw arm. Yeah, his butt becomes his claw arm. It's, it's super creepy. But, yeah. you know. It's cute for a little... Cyber key and boom, his little arm goes forward. His head just pops out. Yeah. yeah He'll stay great, in beast mode. Great attack power in uh, beast mode. Horrible in robot mode because it's yeah. his shoulder. <laughs> and he was like a, he was the sensei of the beast planet in the show. And I'm like, really? Yeah. This thing is, who looks like he'd barely be able to survive at all is somehow like a robot fighting expert. Anyways, uh, next up is this thing. I don't know what that is. He's like a it certainly looks like a movie bot. It looks like it's definitely a movie bot. I yeah. I couldn't tell you what its name is for the life of me. Basic SUV thing. Uh, made a tweet about it recently. That I really like it. Head sculpt. It's actually super detailed for the size. His eyes are like going into the uh, into the mask a bit. Looks pretty neat. It's got like a breathing apparatus on his face. Kind of weird. Horrible, horrible toy. Like it's these arms. Like, look, like it's, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, early movie barricade. Just very messy. His foot is actually missing a little chunk there too. Oh it's yeah, no toes. Yeah, there's one missing. Yeah, you know, you know, was, you know. This guy really like. I actually had one already, but it was a bundle purchase. So yeah. another movie, but this little tank guy is very stout. I like the arms. Fun little bot, fun transformation on that one. Mm -hmm. a little fairy get back into alt mode, but fun. Yeah, this one did not come with the missiles, so I've got the missile thingies, which are normally on above his shoulders, but yep. because there's no missiles here, I just kept them in the backpack mode. But it's neat, I like you can do that opportunity. Very um, very clean transformation when he goes into the vehicle mode. Like you wouldn't think this is what you'd get when you transform him back no. into a robot. Very cool. Good colors. I like them. One of my one of my favorite movie bots. And here's a <laughs> very small beast war beast hunters transformers prime. Just one of those little guys. Like, little cutthroat. Yeah, becomes one of the combiner bots, I guess. What can you say? He's tiny. Here's one Essex really dug. This is oh, the so jealous. Little go bot there. Oh, Cop tour. So good. Still in pretty good shape too. Unfortunately, oh, so he's missing his uh, propeller. Of course, as they always are. Yeah, but at least his uh, his little cockpit is in one piece. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty shiny. Everything's all there. Got that sweet, sweet cold die cast. Yeah. Oh, so good. Mm. That that one was one of the ones that definitely made me want to give that guy a call. This one too. I really like this guy. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Swerve. He doesn't stand all the while. I think his legs have been a bit worn over the over the years. But fun, fun, basic Legion class size figure. Good colors. I like him. And this thing, this is a. I don't like this one either. 
Uh, it's one of these guys. Yeah. He was also... Doesn't he become the lion guy? No, that's the Decepticon. This one's the Decepticon repaint, so... Yeah. This is brush guard, but yeah, the original yeah. version of the mold, yeah. Yeah. He's, they actually took his uh, Wolverine claws off. I don't blame them. Oh, no. They kind of just <laughs> get in the way. But yeah, no, it's pretty awful. You can see his chest there has actually got a hole in it. Because his, his gimmick was that he has a chest missile. Yep. But yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Probably will prefer that in uh, vehicle mode. <laughs> it was a bundle, though. And this one, this one's really interesting. I actually liked him a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah. It's just a random, I guess, movie bot Insecticon sort of creature. Yep. And uh, he's actually pretty neat. He's a fun little toy. Mine broke randomly. I was just, I dug it out of a box and it was broken in a couple pieces. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. But a fun bot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad he isn't broken. <laughs> Yeah. You're, you know, basic once again, Legion class size and interesting. It's got the forearms and two legs and kind of becomes like a mosquito. It looks like one of those bugs that you get, get in the apartment in the summer, like, ah, giant bug, get out of here. I'm trying to play video games or something. It's flying around your face, getting all, all up in there. Cool. So that's the, uh, that's the uh, stuff I got that was used. But just today, I went to Walmart Friday. Hell a long week, too hot out. Hate it. <sighs> well, might as well go to Walmart, see if anything's new. And actually, oh, something was new. No. <laughs> they, they actually had Octone that uh, Essex was showing up earlier. And I don't want it, at least not at full price. If it shows up at Towards Us and I use my uh, rain check, then yeah, I guess I'll buy it. I would, only if, it, if there's a Blitzwing too, if it's just him. I don't know. I don't know. On the fence, though. At least, like you said, the wing, the wing thing was fixed. But finally, I was just about to order these things online, too, from a random site on eBay. It is the Legion class figures from Titans Return that I've been looking for. So here is Autobot Cosmos. And this is a uh, a redo of this mold. Yep. Re release was... from Generations a couple years back. Okay. Um, he has a card in there now. Uh, no, I don't think he has any Titan Master support. They didn't really add no. anything to it. It's just well, he wasn't uh, part of that line, so they just kind of re-released him without his um little Target Master shuttle he came with in the original release. Yeah, so it's actually a bit worse in the original, <laughs> getting a bit less, I guess. There's a little bit more paint though this time around. That's good. Yeah, and they want you to know in the corner here, this is a fantasy scene <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of this green UFO. Yeah, that doesn't actually exist. It can't happen. Oh. They're all kind of beat up, too. I have a theory that someone bought them all like two weeks ago and then maybe tried to resell them and then no one wanted to buy them, so he just returned them all. They all have a I, bit I of would, wear and tear. I would more imagine that uh, the Toys R Us, uh, you know, 16-year-old employees just don't give a crap. Maybe, <laughs> but they're all but they're all beat up, though. Like, kind of feels like they were in a backpack or something. I don't know. This is Walmart. Oh, yes. Um, there's a guy I know in town who does resell fears, so I don't think he would have done it, but maybe. Maybe. But I'm glad to have that because I didn't have this mold from the version that uh, Essex said, the Generations mold. And here is a big. Uh, oh, so jealous. Da, da, da. So jealous. Yeah, sea spray. I thought it was funny that you can see his feet are actually bent to the side to save yep. space. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. And as far as I can oh, yeah. tell, I, I still think he's he's got a a brawn remold look and like I'm pretty sure that's the exact same mold more or less. Huh. I think the chest even opens up too for uh Titan Mask purposes. And it'll be fun to uh eventually open this up and uh see them side by side. But yeah. Sweet. I, I was very very worried because we're Getting near the end of this line, and uh, I didn't want to miss out on these. Yeah, before we know it, we're going to be talking about Power of the Primes. Mm. Dude, that wave one, it's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think you were the one that said, like, wave one is always in, uh, in steady supply. Oh, yeah. We're going to see loads so the, of wave one. That literally will be a wave. Just yeah. $300, please. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. I and because a little it's... bit more picky with power of the primes but we'll really see. really <laughs> it looks it looks good but it's Wait. not as good as titan's return 
well, you know, we're going to get into it, but what do you think of the, um, the Dinobot combiner? Are you feeling it? Um, I don't really care for the combined mode, but that's okay. So I don't have to combine them. I can just leave them in dinosaur mode or their um, robot modes. It really depends on the character. Some of them are definitely going to be left in beast mode. Mm. <laughs> like uh, slug, slug, the brontosaurus, not looking good in bot mode. Slank? Slank? No. I don't know. I'm not the one to ask. I'm not an expert. The Brontosaurus. Not yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Swoop, very good in bot mode. Hmm. Are Swoop's arms, or does Swoop's wings become the arms of Vulcanius, or whatever his name is? It almost looked like they snapped in two pieces. No, no like... nothing like that, no. It just kind of hangs off his shoulder. Okay. No, that's yeah. good. Neat. And because this is the toy cast, not just the Transformer cast, I actually picked up... I've been in a... Maybe it's because of my work. Like, I work in a, a Dodge dealership, so I see a lot of, like, American trucks and, you know, a lot of redneck sort of attitudes. And I don't know. I've just been digging Matchbox lately, so I bought a bunch of Matchbox cars that are all new in town. And, like, some of these are fucking greasy redneck trucks, and I never, <laughs> never thought I'd spend a dollar for them, but they're actually... I think Matchbox is doing a better... A better product than uh, Hot Wheels is these days. So there's a greasy old truck for you. That is a greasy old truck. Like you'll notice that there's the picture on the board is actually of the vehicle here. Like with Hot Wheels, you don't get that. It's just a generic, like, mm. random Corvette looking car. And there's not a lot of effort put into Hot Wheels, but these guys, like, big ass metal. Once you know there's metal pieces. And there's some really good attention to detail. Nice. That's not the best one, but like, check this one. Here, here's a, here's the old timey truck. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of those in town lately, so I guess it's rubbing off I me. Mean, I wouldn't want one necessarily, but as a toy, yeah, it's pretty cool. Lots of camera probably won't see all that well. We can see there's a little words written in on the door there. Uh, here's the Mister Plow. That's my name. That name again is Mister Plow. <laughs> Very nice. There's a. There's a boat that they called the Tin Forcer, and it looks like like looks like the whole bottom is just metal. It's just like yeah, that's a dollar. That's that's a lot of metal for a dollar. Police boat, night boat, the crime solving boat. <laughs> yeah, some of these also got kind of a combatant or a um, constructor con vibe out of like this game. You know, big oh, yeah. dump truck thing. That's cool. It feels like Hot Wheels is getting all the like regular like passenger or sports vehicles with hot matchboxes getting all the like weird construction y off roady vehicles. Like uh here's a little dune oh. buggy thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And this one here it's just a big six wheel truck. But I really liked it because I was in the store looking at it and like can see on the back there by the between the tires there's like a little fire axe. Oh, and oh yeah I see fire it there. Axe. A little Little gas canister there. I was like, that's really neat. I appreciate that attention to detail. Of course, I just got those today, so they aren't open yet. I do have uh, some that are open. Like, here's a, you know, one of those trucks. Like, I've got the, um, you know, the one, the uh, uh, Transformer Enough. Cybertron. Transformer. Oh, yes. Like, it's like, hey, uh, it's that. Armor Hide yeah. is where you're going. I thought you were asking me for the model of the truck, and I just won't know. No, no. <laughs> they're all like if if it tells you what they are, you would never know the name. No, and there's like the the Griswolds kind of car. Oh jeez, so that, that was really fun. So they are getting open. Just might have taken time. And uh, sticking with the purity of Matchbox, I've got this one. I picked this up a while ago. It's a two eighty ZX Datsun. Came out of a baggie from a thrift store. And I was like, hey, it's Matchbox. You get, to, you get to roll with the rest of these cars. They're pure Matchbox. No Hot Wheels here. And even there's like a best of Matchbox. So I got this guy. That's a double decker bus. Rubber Wrong tires. Colors, Victoria, but pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> kind of ugly color wise. Like this weird yellowy gold, but it's shiny. Mm -hmm. Rubber tires. Rolls real good. Yeah, cool. Very nice. So that's uh, small pickups. Oh, good. All right, so that's a uh, does it for our pickups, which leads us to the struggle that time of the show when we discuss all the things we didn't pick up. Do you have much of a struggle this time, Essex? 
Um, no, with Amazon being very generous lately with its pricing and um, jumping on a few online sales, it's been pretty good. I mean, mm-hmm. honestly, my store is, besides the movie stuff, it's pretty bare. I took a picture earlier today and I was going to tweet it out after your excellent luck with um, yeah. Walmart. I ran over to mm-hmm. mine to see if I could find anything and all they have is werewolves, mm-hmm. um, yeah. wind blades, and lots and lots of uh, Titan Masters still. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did pick up another shuffler though, just because. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I had a, I could have three by now if I wanted them. I think I didn't just need the one. It's fine. I I've, grabbed a little. I've only ever really? seen the one Repugnus though. So. Oh really? If there are more at some point, we'll see. I mean, Maybe. I could do like an, an ant farm sort of thing out of them. <laughs> A bunch of little repugnous goblins with your big one. Yeah, yeah. He's a big gun. Um, yes, um, I was thinking of my um, my tweeting because uh, I'm known to tweet a lot of pictures. I'm thinking when we're talking about the news, I should really have my uh, my pictures open because I tweet a lot of toy stuff. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, I can't forget anything. They're all right here. The only th- other thing is the toy. My Toys R Us is a ghost town for deluxes. There's yeah. absolutely nothing left. Like there's literally not a deluxe transformer left on the shelf at My Toys R Us. Hmm. They have a few movie of bots. The... Huh? Movie bots, Cindy? No, no deluxes. Really? Empty. Wow. No R.I.D. No Titans Return. No movie bots. Hmm. There's a couple Voyager movie bots left. The Megatron and Hound. I guess that's Wave One. Um, there's a good amount, even though it's dwindling pretty quick, of uh, Alpha Trion, Galvatron, and Nova Prime. Hmm. And hmm. then there's still about a dozen or so six shots. I'm surprised. <laughs> well, surprised there's so many six shots. We have tons of Sky Shadows at ours now. Uh, um, my Walmart was loaded with Overlords, and they're all gone now. But there must have been like 10, 15 of them there for a while. Mm-hmm. They're all gone. Yeah, we still have a bunch. That Octone is still there too, surprisingly. I figure someone else would have picked it up by now. Uh, I was in the EB part of the struggle. We'll get to you in a second. Wow. Um, and oh, ran yeah. into, looks like a collector I'm having competition with here in town. He was, because I was asking about the uh, Titans Return 2 packs mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. are showing up at EB Games. And apparently he had just asked about them. So. Mm. Yeah. But he is the one who got the uh, Blitzwing off the Walmart shelves when I got my Octone. He beat me to it. Damn. You got the good one. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. I'm have it coming. Yeah. If you could pick just one, which one would you prefer? Oh, it's Blitzwing all day, every day. Yeah. Blitzwing was one of my favorite childhood toys. Mm-hmm. Mine was worn to death by the time it finally <laughs> disappeared. I don't even know where it went to. But yeah, I played with that toy all the time so i am really looking forward to having a new one uh, mm-hmm. especially considering the generations one that came out a few years ago was kind of crap i think i've heard that yeah i got to play with him a couple times and i do not like him as blitzwing at all uh i have the double dealer version of yeah him, which i enjoy thoroughly but as blitzwing it just didn't work right kind of reminds me of the megatron i guess yeah. You're always looking at the moment like, is this working for me? Or do I want it to be the other thing more? Yep. I mean, I, I dig it. It's it's fine. It's cool. That that big hole in the gun, though. Ugh. Stupid. I don't want to sit a little person in the gun. I don't want to <laughs> do that. It's nice that they support the base gimmick so much, though. Oh, totally. Yeah, the, the play pattern is awesome. Mm-hmm. Like I was watching uh, Master Force a while ago. And uh, he was in base mode. Uh, what's his name? Overlord. Yep. He was into base mode. And I'm like, yeah, it actually did happen in the show. Oh, God, yeah. Look, he's here. I opened him. Yay, nice. Yay. Good man. He's good. I like it. One arm was a bit uh, a bit looser than the other, but it's fine. And I love the uh, the head chest. Yeah. <laughs> Feature. Obviously, it's supposed to be for, I like, guess, Power of the Primes. Power well, thing. for any headmasters too, but I, I am definitely thinking of getting one of the third-party offerings that's uh, 
got his actual Power Master mm. covers to go in there. Nice. I kind of want more, um, one more of the, uh, what's his name? I don't remember the name, but the one Power Master guy who's, uh, just looks like he's screaming, like he's in pain. It'd be fun to get two of those and just put those in the chest. Oh, yeah. Um, Nightbeat? Nightbeat. I think that's the one. The blue and yellow one. Yeah. Yeah. He's over there. It's good. I thought yeah. it'd be funny. You're like, ah, screaming head boobs. It'd be funny. Yeah, neat. Uh, like, I like the colors of Sky Shadow more, but this one, like, it's those weird pom pom shoulders I don't like about Sky Shadow. This guy doesn't have that problem. No. It's cool. The backpack's kind of weird, though. I was like, am I missing a, a spot here? Is it supposed to be this weird? Nope, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Because Sky Shadow would have had that big chunk of jet hanging over, and he's got it on his shoulder instead. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's a good a... toy. Yeah. It's cool. I've got this one in uh, robot mode, obviously, and I've got the other one in uh, vehicle mode because I like them nice. in vehicles more. Yeah. I've got them up on my shelf. My Decepticon Titan's Return shelf is getting a little full. Mm. Although, I will say my Autobot one is even more full because I'm using um, Fortress Maximus. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. As yes. A, um, a stand for a bunch of the Titan Master figures. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It works. It works. Oh, yeah. You don't. What are your thoughts on Trypticon? Are you gonna ever think you'll have one of those? I definitely think I'm gonna have one. I have kind of wanted to buy it in hand. Um, mm -hmm. That's, I guess, the only other thing I was gonna part in the struggle was, um, mm -hmm. yeah, finding. Well, one, the box set. You found it in retail. I had to order on Amazon. It was not showing up here, uh, and I have never seen a Trypticon in the wild. I'm mm. kind of hoping they pull a. Um, Costco Christmas on me, and he shows up as a pallet <laughs> worth at Costco, and I can just pick him up for a hundred bucks or something. That'd be awesome. Does yeah. Costco get Transformers in? They do every once in a while. They get the big ones. Um, I think they got a small shipment of Fort Maxes. I think they may have gotten um, Devastator in limited That'd quantities, be awesome. but they had a ton of Metroplex. That's how a lot of people got them. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was awesome. when a Titan figure was like 150 and he showed up at Costco for like Oof. 60 bucks. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm going to wait out Christmas and see if that happens. And if not, I'll probably pick them up. Yeah. yeah. There's um, it's not third party. It's more uh, straight up KO bootleg. But they're um, NBK Engineering, I think it's called. That's N. I N engineering, <laughs> engineering, and they um, they redid a bunch of uh, one of the other the third party uh, constructicon sets, but they did a cheaper version, and I've been looking at those. They don't look bad. They're not they're not perfect, but they're like twenty five bucks a bot. Go back. Uh, yeah, tempting. There's one I was kind of buying, but I've been. Mm, you know, I'm just kind of just on the cusp of ready to buy it now, but I'm just like, mm. keep in mind also, there's a toy show around the corner. Oh, 15th. I know. Yep. It's been, uh, uh, not that I know it's coming because I don't know the date and I'm being there. I, I'm less in touch with it. Mm -hmm. um, but my Facebook memories keep popping up with past toy fairs and me going, oh, it's toy fair day. Oh, it's toy fair day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, looking at some old hauls over my uh, Facebook posts, I'm like, yes, that was a good day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So preparations will be, ne will be needed for that. Yes. Good to know that uh, GST tax rebate came in the other day, too. Yep. <laughs> so, yes, excellent timing. Oh. That uh, that toy show happens right after a paycheck too. Nice. Oof, that's a good paycheck too because rent doesn't go from that one; it goes from the other one. Hmm. Um. Yeah. For struggle, I mean, like these are great. I'm glad to have finally found these. I was really close. There was um an eBay random Chinese seller that had a bunch of them. Seemed trustworthy enough, so I was tempted to order one of them. And pretty much the mm -hmm. same price too, free shipping. But it was like an up to forty day wait. Oh yeah. That's before dealing with Canada Post, so just mm, mm, I'd rather wait. It's like when, when we know people who do have access to those things, I still kind of just rather want to find them in the store. There's mm -hmm. nothing I really want enough to want to order in and then help someone ship it out and help pay for the shipping and all that stuff. Like, yeah. 
Um, the uh, I'm still waiting on that Leonidas figure with the Evangelion colors. Oh yes, yep. That's the biggest trouble for me. Is that uh, I've talked to the guy a few times, and he says that they've. Uh, he said he had a, one that he had found, and then he was going to send it out. This is a proper store too, like an online store, Toy Bento. Now they oh. recently went non-profit, whatever that means. But okay. uh, it's still there; it's still existing. I've heard good things about uh, the site and the guy selling, the guy that runs the site and all that. Um, what I think happened because uh, I had pre-ordered this toy before it was out at all. Yeah. And as I understand it, he was actually in uh, like an army service of some sort. Okay. When wave, when the first wave of it came out, is the wave the right word? Um, it's a one figure. Shipment. Yeah, when the first yeah. shipment went out, he was not there. So I don't know if there was like other guys running the company and then they sent them out. But for whatever reason, I didn't get one from that wave. Weird, because it's pre-purchased, pre-paid for. And then he said he found one, but I haven't gotten any notification that he sent it out yet. And I'm thinking, because every other site that sells this says he's coming out the second shipment in October this month now. So maybe he was waiting for that shipment to arrive before he sends it out. Okay. Maybe. I hope so. Because okay. I don't want to lose 100 bucks for something that should be here already. Yeah, but how... Um... How long has it been since you paid for it? Uh, it's been a long road. Uh, it was supposed to ship in May. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, now, the figure itself was pushed back a few months anyway, so I can't blame them for that, but it did arrive. And yeah. then he said he was out of out of, uh, out of of town or whatever. And he did say that also on the Facebook group of this uh, company. But he didn't say it on the website itself, but the Facebook group said it. And that is correct. I did check. I did check that, and they did mention that. So I don't know. Maybe he just had some temp work in the show and just sent it to random people and not. Maybe I just didn't have uh, my own pre in soon enough. I don't know. I don't know. It seems kind of silly if a uh, actual yeah. company is. I don't know. It's weird. They're in Malaysia. Oh. So we'll see. Hopefully, if I uh, don't get confirmation by... Actually, there's another part to the story because I did contact him through PayPal because originally when I saw that they were in stock, yeah. I asked him uh, why I wasn't at Santa. Where's my tracking number? But there was no reply. So then I opened a, a thing in PayPal to try and contact him there and to let PayPal know that the thing wasn't arriving. And I got eventually I did get in touch with him. That's when I found out he was out of town. Mm. But because I opened that thing... Apparently, the, the case is closed now, so I can't reopen it again. Oh, what? I, it's like a PayPal rule. Like, if you open a case and you everything is resolved, quote, unquote, resolved, then you can't reopen another case for the uh. same purchase. I still have faith in this happening because I did get it for a good price because it's more now. It was like 90 or 100 bucks, and now it's 120 bucks, you know. Okay. So I could have got a refund. I chose instead to wait longer. But hopefully, if not, by the end of this month, I'll probably see if I can hopefully get a refund. I don't yeah, think he'll just keep good. the money and say, fuck you. But you never know. Yeah. That is the struggle. And shout out to Aussie, who is now in the chat. Welcome nice, to the So, yeah. Um, once again, just waiting on that Eva Zero One colored Leonidas figure, which is basically Leo Prime, if you're curious. It's Leo Prime, a exactly. cool third party version, but now this specific. Uh, version of the toys and like Eva Zero One, purple and green and some orange looks really cool. And there's really not a lot of third party Evangelion stuff at all that I've ever seen. So, looking hmm. forward to it. Just gotta Hopefully get it. Hopefully, she shows up. Mm -hmm. but yeah, aside from that, I'm just waiting for those Voyagers and Ramhorn. I mean, otherwise, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, we still have Ramhorn. I had forgotten about him. Bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got Ramhorn and we've got Slug Slinger. Oh, uh, that's that's about our lot besides the exclusives. Yeah, that'll suck. We don't get Slug Slinger. Yeah, I like this this last set of uh, not Seekers but Jet guys. Yeah, the it's, Target uh, Master Jets. Yeah, they all look like Schmoop ships, and I like that. Yeah, I mean, like if I don't get them, that's fine. I'll get the Japanese version. I'll probably get them both anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but yeah, once again. Yeah. Hopefully. 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 
even uh, maybe uh, Amazon will show them show up there soon enough. It would be nice. But yeah, I'm just happy to get Seaspray open or get Seaspray will be opening this up pretty quick. Neat. Live right. unboxing. Yeah, <laughs> nah, too much stuff. <laughs> I always like to use my uh, trusted pocket knife and just make an incision at the base so I can keep the backboard. Oh, I'm but, yeah. <laughs> local bro brandon uh has been known to buy a funko pop or two and he just rips the box open and throws them like you savage how could you (laughs) yeah i did that earlier today with my or the other day with my hero Uh, out the box went unbelievable how can you stack them against your wall without the box (laughs) i I don't have room for that shit have you seen my shelves (laughs) yeah but that's why you keep them in the box because then you can make this tower of boxes anyways you're better off not doing that it's crazy. We're all crazy. Uh, all right. So, uh, what do we get for news? Any news? Let's oh, start with the um, what I was hoping would happen. EB Games now yeah. carrying. I have, we haven't seen it in our West Coast EB Games is, is, but hopefully soon enough we'll see uh, a limited edition, limited release Titans Return clones two pack. Yeah. One of them looks like this guy, kind of. Yep. And uh, that'll be neat. I think I would want that. I and, definitely want that. And I love that it's coming to EB Games because I've tweeted to their um, EB Games Canada saying, like, you guys carry toys now. You should really carry the Transformers because they're perfect because you can't find them at local retail because nobody wants to stock anything. Yep. Because it's nope. a hullabaloo. Uh, toys are us today. No Amiibo out. <laughs> we don't want to stock those today. I asked uh, one of their manager types about SNES classics, which unfortunately I was not able to get yet. And he said they won't stock them. They'll just keep them behind in customer service and wait for people to ask for them. Just like, Seriously? Yeah. That's, wow. Yeah. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I've heard that from that Toys R Us regardless. So they're big on keeping things behind the counter and not letting, not letting anyone know unless they ask for them specifically. Yeah. It seems that's like... like the wonkiest sales technique I've ever seen in my life, but yeah. hey, I don't know. I'm just a retail manager and have been for a decade. What do I know about sales? Yeah. Well, <laughs> poor the rest, man. What can you do? Oh, Did I ever ask you what your thoughts were on the turning mech hard toys? These little cars that you drive over a magnet card and then they pop into a. Yeah, a thing. you had a couple you were kind of messing around with. I think yeah. I've seen them here and there. Yeah. Um, they seem fun. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> I tried to do it without driving it and it fell. There, I did it. There you yeah. go. Nice. If they had proper paint, and a lot of them are translucent like this, and I'm not a big fan of that. The gimmick is, you know, it's kind of stupid for, but you know, it, it's it's dumb fun for kids. It's like Yu Gi Oh, but with cards and little sort of robots. Well, yeah, um, that two pack for. Uh... Cloud Raker and Wingspan. Looking forward to getting. Hopefully, we see them here. If not, I'll quest out of town for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a hell of a lot easier uh, than fifty-five-ish bucks on eBay was the oh. cheapest one I found. Yeah, no good. And I was really considering it. <laughs> oh <laughs> so no! I'm kind of glad these showed up. It was like, Bing, there you go. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty- well, that hurts, right? Because I mean, they're literally supposed to be clones and twins, and yep. Like I have one of four, and if I get that, then I'll have three of four. I'm like. I have the G1 version of the guy. I don't have the uh, little hot rod dude. Yeah. So I guess I could sneak him in there and just try and live my life <laughs> as though nothing. I, w- I will hopefully have the whole set of them. Hmm. So like with the last wave troubles, like yeah, yeah. it is what it is. I can live with it. But if uh, I can't... Here's did you um... see more uh, exclusives getting released through them or? I'd like to see just all of the Transformers show up there. Well, I guess that's what we can tie into the other news is um, Hasbro showing off at whatever Comic-Con's going down this weekend. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's New York Comic-Con. It's all blur. Um, They showed off Titans Return um, Grotesque and Scorponok as a two-pack there and then released it on their website, uh, HasbroToyShop.com, almost instantly. And it's already shipped out to a bunch of people. And it was twenty four ninety nine American retail, and I saw it, the link for it right away, like moments after it was posted. I was like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna totally try to order this." And I went on and dip, dip, filled in all for my information, 
Go to checkout. Uh, that'll be eighty bucks Canadian. Oof. Eh, no. 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 Not not for a single deluxe and a Titan Master. Just no. Too yeah. much. Not a fan of that. No. Ah, uh, that's just too steep. I was like, oh, is there any other like you know Titan Master figure or Titans Return figures that I missed? You know, if they had RC in stock, I would have bought them both. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Um, no. Real quick, that, I'm just screen sharing the uh, the two pack we're talking about. Nice. This was a picture I think someone took in Ontario, and I've yeah, seen yeah. like this DC Comics box to its right. I've seen that exact box. I'm like, yeah. oh, I can tell right where it's supposed to be. And it yeah, amusingly it has the Walgreens exclusive sticker on the front, yeah. which the box set that you just picked up I also have uh, also mentions Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. So those stickers, <laughs> they don't take the stickers out, I and mean, that's fine. I, I kind of think it's funny that they kept the sticker on anyways. It's just faster leave it. It's fine. Uh, but that one they put, or um, that picture was taken by at Cheers Ian on Twitter. Hmm. Oh, no, okay, good. I found some pictures of the uh, monster bots. Dude, I'm so, so excited for that uh, Ripper Snapper. Oh, yeah. I like, I like that one. But I really hope that EB gets RC and Grotesque. That would be mm-hmm. fantastic. That would be yeah. a nice way to get them. If they showed up there for 30 or 35 bucks, I'd be pretty happy. Exactly. I do like but that grotesque. Not 80. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. They even have special boxes. Ooh. Uh, the boxes are nice, but damn, damn. That's 80 bucks for a single deluxe. I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. I've got another screen share of the bot he's talking about. Nice. Here it comes. He's good. Is it seen it? You seen it? Is it there? It's still good. It's there. It's cool. Considering Gorgeous. his Titan Master is another um, Battle Beast. Awesome. <laughs> Here's his card. Let's Corpinock. Here's in robot mode. Look at those gaps. <laughs> right where the hand <laughs> goes. Ah, uh, you're killing me. It's just uh, the way of Titan's return. I'm used yeah. to it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's funny little little. Uh, I guess gargoyle feet sneak into his regular feet yep. sideways. I like that. That's neat. Fills holes. Well, it's just a remold it. of um, Double Cross. Yeah. Right? Inferno. Yeah. Twin Inferno. There we go. Yeah. That's... Yeah. He's good. I like it. I like that they're sneaking in the extra headmaster guys into. Yeah. It's a nice uh, mini bows. Are those die casts? Those are die casts. I'm pretty sure that um, all four of these exclusives were what we were going to get in the. Um, Box sets. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where that. All right. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. I'll buy one. I can buy I it. Will. For a good price. Regular price. Did you get a SNES mini, by the way? Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. How was it? Oh, yeah, I did. Is it amazing? It's of course perfect. it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I was going to wait on it. I was like, oh, I get one. I get one. That's great. I'll go <laughs> and tour the stores. This guy over here. Whatever. I was. Um, and I just happened to get up early on release day mm-hmm. and I was up, I was kind of playing on my computer. My girlfriend sleeps inside me or I'm playing on my phone. And then one of my best friends texts me and she goes, I'm in line for the SNES classic at Walmart. There's 30 of us here. There's 90 in stock. I'm like, I'm on my way. <laughs> and I flew up to Walmart and I was number 67 <laughs> and I was going to buy two. I wanted to buy two cause I wanted to buy one for rogue. Um, mm-hmm. and they were not having any of it. No. Like, no, one per person. I'm like, but it's for a friend. I'm like, not scalping. You could be. We don't know that. One per person. Yeah. I mean, it's good that they're doing that now. It's totally fair. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, nice little. It's way smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's pretty it's adorable. Tiny. Mm-hmm. Tiny, tiny. Um, yeah, I've played a bunch on it. Um, I'm going through Secret of Mana again. That's what I'm nice. playing right now. You guys playing co op? No, just playing by myself. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Oh yeah, magic magic freezes everything when you use it. Some people don't like that. No, uh, no, you're using magic and everything stopped. And <laughs> people complain about old games. Uh, hmm. I got pictures. Talk about Terracons. I got pictures. You got Terracons? Uh, I got pictures. Shout out to tformers.com, one of my favorite sites for stealing pictures <laughs> <laughs> for the purpose of screen sharing on our little live stream show here. Can you see it? Is it there? Can you see it? There you go. Yeah. yeah. That one's cool. I got that one. I got That's a thrift bot I found out too long ago. Nice. So now I can get a bigger one. 
if I have the G1, I want it more. (laughs) I will admit I wasn't as big on the Dinobots in this line as I Mm. thought. Like I was like, oh great, we finally have them. Oh, they're okay. Uh, Oh, the Terracons look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like every single one of them, I want. I don't. I'm looking forward to seeing the combined one still, but uh, just the individual bots look excellent. Yeah, they're fun. Big, big, uh, vibrant colors. Yep. Is that the one I was showing off earlier? Is that the same guy? That's Cutthroat. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, man. I was showing off the Tiny Beast Hunters version, of course, for anyone that wasn't there. Here it is. It's just Pterodactyl. Yep. <sighs> I'm sure that's what he sounds like. A little close up thing. Very nice. Which one is that? Dinner Twin. He's all right. I don't know call like him Sinner Twin, chance. but <laughs> yeah. I love his alt mode. That two-headed beast thing is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of two-headed. What was the other two-headed one? Uh, hunger. Uh, hunger. Yeah. He's he's part of this group too, then, right? Yeah. There's he's two the, uh, two-headed creatures. Yep. That's funny. It's just the mood they're in when they design them, I guess. Kind of has like What's a King King Ghidorah one? kind of vibe going. Now they have four hits if you put them together. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Oh, those are probably their hand feet. Mm. Oh, isn't that neat? Mm-hmm. Ah, cool. Those look much better than the uh, other ones. Mm. Yeah, that one's all right. From yeah, you can, though, you can tell. Might only be hands... Um, Because it looks like better feet come with the uh, Voyager class. Mm. They're all articulated and tilty and awesome. Mm -hmm. Is that blot? That is a blot. Yes. Yeah. Like like it's style. Can't go wrong with fat robots. I don't know. It's like um, Shark to Gun. Just like they're somehow more lovable. Look at this guy. (laughs) Look at that. What the hell is that? It's blot. Yeah. Hope they take a side (laughs) shot. There you go. <laughs> uh, weird. Mm, clicking through. Okay, it is purple. And clearly heavily influenced by the uh, Combiner Wars. Um, not Superion. Well, the Superion, but. Um, yeah, Scattershot. No, well, yeah, Scattershot too. Who's the centerpiece of Superion? Why can I not think of um... Oh god! Uh, yeah. Skyfire, Jetfire. No, no. Mm. Silverbolt. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely that fan mode. A lot of the same pieces. It's neat. Uh, I'll just try and click through these faster. There's a. Okay. Again. There's grotesque. This was just their generic seventy-two pictures taken. Can I just? Do I have to click on the next each time? That's yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 there you go. Look, there's another squat fat butt. I didn't know he was that fat. Look how fat he is. He's a little fatty. He's got to work out. Get ripped. Neat. Neat, neat. Um, what else we got? We saw um, the completed combined form of the Dinobots. And hit or miss, you know. It's, it's yeah. neat. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be fun. Yeah. Um, we saw a couple more of the um, where are they? The primes, the pretender shells, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the prime little thingamajiggers that use Titan Master heads, but now they're weird, like pattern faces. I don't know. Hmm. I like I'm pretenders. Gonna... I I like more Titan Masters, so I'm in on that line. They also turn into weapons. So, Target Master, Pretender, Headmasters. Oh, they're there. Sold. I should. I shouldn't have stopped Sold. sharing. All right, share one more time. Here. There you go. Just found them. Yeah, there. Yep. Metal Hawk to go with Metal Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> they look weird. These ones look weird. They can, they you can, you can even feel the G one gimmickiness of them. Oh yeah. Like Actually, it's like we we got pretty. This got so popular, we can do all the random weird stuff we can come up with now. Um, honestly, those and the leaders are probably what I'm looking forward to most on Power and Primes. And, oh. of course, the um, Legends class. 
Yeah, I can't go wrong, Legends. Yeah. I mean, the combiners are fun and all. I've done the combiners. I'm glad we're getting like the last few of them taken care of, but uh, Titan's Return has been so much more fun. So these seem just like an extension of it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing again. Oop. Okay. Uh, yes. Anything else you want to bring up? Has uh, there been much else news? Uh, third party's kind of quiet right now. Third party's kind of quiet, yeah. It's um, not a Which whole is lot. understandable. Going. I mean, I don't know how they can make so many of these all the time. I mean, TFCon did go on here a little bit, a little bit ago. They showed off some new figures. Uh, there was nothing that really got me. I don't know. Yeah. I'm having more fun with Hasbro lately, and I was like a heavy third party guy. Mm -hmm. um, I was working with a third party for a little while, for goodness sakes. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's just it's boring. It's boring. Yeah. And expensive. If anything, yeah, like, I like the uh, the Wei Zhang and the uh, like Ren Sora. I'm still having more to that one. That's one of the ones I've been humming and hawing about. Like the MPP mm -hmm. can't even see over there. Eh, same idea. Yep. Just an oversized mold some of those designs. They're like, we can make it better. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you saw, but uh, the movie Megatron, aka Ren Sora, that they did now has a free up grade kit like depending on where you buy it from like i know tf direct if you buy it from them it'll just come with this upgrade kit that'll fill in all the gaps on the nice. back of the toy that uh, the original mold has nice and uh yeah i appreciate that that's uh, the attention to detail i like to see coming out of hasbro more often but you know it's fine it is um, what it is. Actually, i think the only thing i want to talk about third party wise is uh, that i found kind of funny mm -hmm. is uh remember that whole um Galaxy Force, Starscream, shenanigans, yep. where it was cancelled, never one wanted it, and it was the hashtag, you know, make make, make toys. toys or make toys again or something. Get made or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Um, and they did this whole campaign where they lowered the price and they brought everyone in. Everyone was happy. Hooray! Mm -hmm. And then at TFCon they showed they have like two more color protos done for uh the Thunder Cracker and Skywarp versions. Yep. I don't think those toys were ever in any danger of being canceled. I think it was a publicity campaign. Yeah, that, we we tried to talk about that the last couple of times, but yeah. we kept getting segued or such. So yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, by the way, sorry we went on there. so long last time. I didn't I didn't know Demon was going to bring that much content. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Suddenly it's eight there. You're like, oh, you got to go. I was like, oh, sorry, but yeah, I had to run. I had to yeah. run. My girlfriend's got the car tonight, so she's driving herself home. It's great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that seems a little uh, iffy. But on the same note, they're going to make masterpiece versions of um, Master Megatron and Galaxy Convoy. So fucking in. I'm yeah. In on that. That'll be interesting to see. It's yeah. not a big change from the original version, though, the Galaxy Meteor. It's, uh, well, they just which... showed a couple sketches. We'll have to see what the actual toys look like. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that the, the cockpit doesn't bend backwards on their Galaxy Meteor. Doesn't bend backwards. Oh, yeah. it doesn't kind of flip in. Yeah. Yeah, but that's more to the show less model. like a penis. <laughs> yeah. It looks more like a penis in the third part. <laughs> but it also makes me think like of Zone of the Enders. They're nah, you sheep go. ships. Uh, I miss Zone of the Enders, but it's coming back. Zone of the Enders VR coming this soon. Thanks. Get hype. Uh, the only other thing I could think of for a um, bit of news, we've kind of talked about all the Takara stuff coming out. Uh, but the rumor going around for the next bit of uh, Legends Titans Return things are uh, Sea Spray coming out for Legends and Rion, uh, which apparently is the Japanese name of Sawback. So he'll probably get partnered up with uh, that lion cat one, the yellow one we've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Target Master Top Spin and t Twin Twist. So they'll be getting Target Master partners. Which is kind of cool. Hmm. And then um, it looks like we're getting a reissue of uh, Godfire Convoy. Are we though, or are they? Well, Japan is. Japan is, yeah. Okay. Japan is, but yeah. Well, they get we'll all have the access pretty... to get it again, which is you can get robots from Seven Eleven in Japan. I'm so jealous. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have Gundams. Gundams and some of them colors, and Evangelions and uh, yes. some of them colors, and uh, 
and Ultra Magnus with some of them badges on them. And... Yep. Crazy prices, of course, but you know, still, it's just still. a thought that counts. I'd sure like to see it, even if I didn't have the money for it. <sighs> well, if we wind up going there next year, I'll take pictures. <laughs> everyone, everyone gets on the list. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be going back. Nice. We're currently deciding between Hawaii, Japan, South Korea, and Mexico. Hmm. Mexico yes. would be the cheapest. Yeah, but I don't want to go to resort Mexico. I want to go to real Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yep. Well, they'll probably like you nowadays. We're all in agreement against the Trump. Yeah, pretty much. No, no, Canadian. Like... Canadian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just make sure you got that the little stitching on the backpack. Yeah. They know. We know. Look Everyone knows. Canadian. <laughs> I'm just looking at the third party uh, scene here. See what's newly added. There's a X2 X2 Toys Sky Crusher. So there's another uh, Jetfire Skyfire on the way. Yeah, the uh, is that the one that looks like Titans Return inspired? Uh, I think that's so. Kind of. I can screen share it. Screen share. See it? Almost. Yep, that's the one. Only 143.26. Uh, See once again. Payment for pre-order, just like there I did with Toy Bento, and I did that. I like I like this TF Direct. I haven't had any problems with them yet. I was actually really looking forward to this toy with all the prototypes they've shown and everything, all the green and beige and brown colorings. Um, and I do like the Skyfire colors, but man, that mm. face is atrocious on the final version. Yeah, it's it's, it's so it's unfortunate. Really a- it's like. Barely a face at all. Just missed the landing. It was like, oh, got this great figure, all kinds of play features, goes in with the current line, super neat, uh, you know, a completely new mold, idea, all kinds of fun stuff, and fucking miss that landing and crash. It reminds me of uh, Asimov, the Honda robot. Oh, yeah. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Generally looks, eh, looks all right. I don't know. I, I would like more pictures that show the scale. It kind of looks small here. I don't know. What I size is he supposed to be? Class. Is he? Damn, oh, he okay. looks he looks like a deluxe practically. It's hard to tell. But oh. I was looking at Gundam prices, and they're basically deluxe size figures for like ninety bucks. Oh yeah, that's one reason why I never really got into Gundam. <laughs> the toys <laughs> aren't really well priced. I I would buy this figure if he had a better face, because that face is so unfortunate. I guess Gundam's more of a model kit thing anyways. Okay, here's what I was talking about earlier, the NB engineering. So this one here as an example is twenty five ninety nine. That's pretty yeah, reasonable. Okay. He's a clear version, but there's non clear versions. So I might order one of these in. I this is actually the one I was looking at, the bulldozer one. Uh, bulldozer. Is that is that still showing up? Yep. All right, cool. That looks neat. I've watched some reviews. It seems fine. I don't know if I really need it, though. You know, it's easy to spend money, but I mean, I was at the Bay Village not too long ago and I found, do you know the GoBot, the uh, forklift? Oh, yeah, spoons. Yeah, like I've got two already. I'm like, you know, I really don't need another one. I actually, <laughs> actually left it like an adult man. And then, like, there you yeah, go. It's fine. I don't need another one. But I sure thought about it. Oh my god. This guy's neat. He's got like the hand is like a little trailer for the uh, vehicle mode. That's kind of cool. The black and white part there. You know, it's neat. Just it's it's a thing I could buy. But there's many things I could buy. But like I said, toy show around the corner. You'll have lots of other things to pick. Oh yeah. I don't even know if there's really that much I'm looking for at this point. Yeah. Oh look, here he is. Is he is he in stock again? No, okay, it's just a pre-order. Mm. But yeah, this is this is the guy I've been waiting for yep. since since May. Super cool. Yeah, action pose. Cool, cool, cool. All righty. Yeah. Well, any uh, any other topics you want to bring up? No, I think that's all I got. I think I'm I'm all cleaned out. All right, very good. Well, I think that about does it for this latest episode of the Cat Max Toy Cast. Um, yeah, man, 
Gundam. This might be very bad, but I kind of want to get into Gundam toy stuff too. I got <laughs> I got bits and pieces, like I said, but like I got this guy. He's in the game. He's a striker. And there's another one of these I have. Different different line, but like, man, I love these things. I miss being able to get these from like Fuji or whatever. Oh yeah. Just like the convenience store toys are like super detailed and painted. Like I did nothing. I put them together. But like this is pretty much out of the box. Like that's that's neat. Japan, man. It's no wonder there's no uh, babies being made over there. There's so many cool distractions. It's like, I understand. I get it. Land of hentai and robots. I mean, whew. good luck. Good luck, future generations. Oh, anyways, uh, Essex, once again, tell the folks where they can find you. At always, at Essex Alpha, pretty much everywhere. Very good. And I'm Stephen. Thank you, everyone, for watching live. We had uh, Rogue and Aussie in the chat. Uh, and of course, if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at Stephen Eider. Stephen with a V E I D H E R. If you want to watch me play video games live, check me out over on Twitch, where you'll probably once again see me playing a lot of Gundam versus. Yeah. Catmax uh, underscore gaming, all one word. And yeah, that's about it. That's a good chat with you once again. Indeed. Of course, keep an eye on those Walmarts. You don't want to miss out on this guy. I will be back shortly. <laughs> I, can be, I can be the cool guy who has it now, but I was, man, this is going to be my number one struggle topic, just not having this. Guy. But I do now, so it's good. Yeah, and I will play about Slug Slinger for the next few weeks. <laughs> oh, no. He said it. That one looks real cool. <sighs> Anyways, whatever. We'll figure it out. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Rogan. I'll see you in the next. Bye, everybody.